everyone. Uh, our heart are really warm, as our sister Emily said. And here is too warm. <laughs> too hot. It would be better if we have uh, more uh, fresh air. Um, during two weeks, as you know, I was uh, working around with my family that came from Spain. Uh, you know, living, uh, working, uh, or even yourself, maybe you study, or even sleep with uh, non-believers, right? Having time together with non-believers. Uh, in my case, it, it teach me a lot. Uh, it let me learn a lot of things um, about them, and also let me understand more uh, the field, understand more those who I must say, and understand more about my family also. But these days I get a little bit surprised because uh, I was able to see how God has been working in my life. The reason is, uh, well, we was working together, but we are facing a problem or situation. The way our attitude is uh, completely different. That's what I'm able to see. Uh, for me, it's like nothing, but even a small thing become really big for them. Uh, I think that's uh, the heart that God is giving to me, the peace that God is giving to me in my heart. Uh, I'm really thankful for the gospel. I don't know how much can you be thankful uh, for this gospel, but really I believe and I have the answer that Jesus is the Christ, the solution to all my problems. So nothing is a problem for me. For two weeks I've been working with them and we were talking about many other things. Especially we were working a lot. <laughs> we were doing uh, tourism in Seoul, in other cities around Daegu. Uh, I worked too much. <laughs> it was too hot. And I think I lost so, some weight. Even I was, we was eating really well, delicious thing. But we was working too much and sweating a lot. So, but it was really nice to be with, uh, with them. Uh, especially, I was able to see how their thinking start to change, especially those who are non-believers. Uh, when they are just come here and do how we worship, uh, or see how the people do the work of faith. We had the opportunity to meet a few members of our church also. Um, my sister, who is a non-believer, also said this. I've been always worried uh, about you, because she doesn't know what I'm doing here, how I'm living, but now she knows my place, she knows our church, she knows a few of you. And she was really glad to meet uh, many people. So my sister uh, even said, uh, you should stay here in Korea uh, forever. <laughs> uh, actually, my sister was uh, one of the most uh, person in my family who was crying when I was leaving to Korea because I'm quite close to her, and she was missing me a lot, a lot. And when every year when I traveled to Spain, she hugged me and cried every year. Uh, but. Uh, I was surprised because she said, you should stay here forever. Uh, I asked her, why? She said, you know, you're going to be a pastor, you're going to build your church. Uh, I think here it's going to work better. Already you have a system, already you know many people here, already you have your small, also, multi uh, group. Uh, you should stay here. I think it's going to be more, much easier for you. What do you think about that? It's good. <laughs> I really like all of you. I would like to stay with you forever. But uh, I just answer here. Uh, from the beginning, the reason that why I came here is to go back. I came for receive training, growth in the gospel, and bring this gospel to Spain. Why you are saying this to me? She say. The reason is, uh, you know, in Spain we don't really like church. <laughs> she say that. People don't really like church, people don't really believe in God. So I think if you go to Spain, it's going to be much difficult. Uh, I don't know what you think about that. Uh, I explained to her, 
uh, probably this is something that you don't understand. Because it's non believer, right? But evangelism, even church, is something that I'm not doing, but God is doing. It's not a ministry that I'm doing, but it's God ministering your lives. Work of faith is not with me, it's going together in a work of faith with God. So even we gather together, even I'm here before you, but I'm the same like you. Even I'm here with the mic and preaching and saying the God's word to you, but actually it's God who is working in your life individually. Uh, I explained to her, evangelism, church, it's not something that I'm doing. It's something that God is doing. Is doing. As I'm living, as I'm receiving training here, I'm able to meet many people from Nepal, China, Zimbabwe, Philippines, Kenya, France, many other kind of countries from around the world. And I'm able to see that wherever I go, there is people who need this gospel. All of them believe it's not like that. Then how about Korea? All the Koreans believe in God. That's not true. But always God prepare some people to receive the gospel. Because out there, wherever you go, there are people waiting for this gospel. There are people who need this gospel. So I don't need to gather with many people. I just need to find, to find those who really need the gospel. If this gospel of Jesus Christ becomes the answer to those people, for me it's enough. I don't need other things. And Spain also needs this gospel. That's why God led me until here. There is something that they cannot see. Uh, we was reading today, they use, demand, science. The Greeks look for wisdom. People look for science. Other people, they are just looking for wisdom. What is this meaning? I've been talking with them a lot. I've been talking with them even as I was able to set the gospel. Even once I was talking about Jesus Christ and my sister also started to, to cry. Uh, she has many scars and misunderstanding about what the gospel is and about what the church is. But completely, the gospel or the church that she knew is completely different from now. Why? We was living inside of a religion so that religion makes her really scarce. If you do this, God is gonna curse you. <laughs> if you do this, God is gonna punish yourself. If you do this, uh, everything is going to be bad for you. But it's not, that's not the gospel, right? You must go to church. If you skip church, maybe something bad is gonna happen to you. If I'm preaching like this every, every Sunday to you, that's going to become imprint on your life, right? Then you will be really afraid of God. You will live your life even in the worst way, even more uh, suffering, more afflicted than even non-believers, right? But the gospel is completely different. Completely, Jesus Christ rescued us from the death, <coughs> from that situation. He's a background now. Uh, I was able to share the gospel to them a few times and talk it about the spiritual world. But it's a spiritual world that they don't uh, accept. Even I share about Jesus Christ, even I share about God, I want, I, I want to try to believe, but I can't believe that. Show me the evidence. One day, uh, oh, in one moment during this week, we were talking about this. I can't believe that. How the gospel is true. Do you think it's the truth? There is Buddhism, there is other many religions. Why Christianity is the truth? Why Jesus Christ is the truth? So me the evidence. I can understand the gospel. Okay, explain me and let me understand what is the gospel. In one moment you face with a spiritual world. If you are not able to believe that then you can't explain anything. They want to understand, looking for this gospel. They want to understand how Jesus Christ is the answer to my life. But it's not about understanding. 
is about faith. That's what they don't understand. How much can you explain to make them understand logically this gospel, this spiritual world, for example, or God, Satan, the kingdom of God, how do you explain hell? Right? How do you explain angels? They can understand this. They are looking for science, they are looking for wisdom. Uh, I bring them to the mountain. Uh, I've been there with a few of you. Have you seen how people do idol worship? Have you seen how people go to fortune tellers? What is the reason of this? When we went there, they was able to feel something. Something that made them uncomfortable. It's a spiritual world, but they don't upset that spiritual world. That's the problem. Conclusion, it's not about science, it's not about wisdom, it's about unbelief. They have that unbelief in their, in their self. I can't believe, uh, they can't believe their spiritual, that uh, spiritual world. I can just believe, show me the evidence, they say that. Do you know uh, this evidence? Do you have really this evidence with you that Jesus is the Christ? What changed in you after believing Jesus? If you have this kind of evidence with you, everything finishes. You don't need even to solve something. You don't even to, to share or talk really well to explain something. They will see the evidence on you. You are completely different. How God is, how Jesus was working in your life. Can you see the evidence? Um, if you don't accept this reality, what is the conclusion? You cannot see. If you don't accept the reality, the spiritual reality, you cannot, you cannot see uh, nothing. I was saying this morning, when the God's power is revealed to other people. When we understand really well who is Jesus, that Jesus is the Christ, in other words, if you focus in the gospel, you will start to see what other people cannot see. This is the reason why we must become added to the gospel. Uh, working with them, uh, for me, uh, I become, I like even more uh, the gospel. Because I can see that the gospel is the answer to my problem. As I'm listening more and more and understanding more and more the gospel, my eyes become open. So working with them, I'm able to see now, oh, my family problem is like that. Maybe if I didn't receive this gospel, I was the same with them. I'm able to understand more the scars, the scars that my sister has because church. You must have the answer with you and enjoy it continually. Then the evidence will come. You must have the answer why people are unhappy. What is the reason? Do you have this kind of answer with you? Why people are unhappy? If you go out there, you will, you will be able to meet many people that are not happy. It is because they cannot meet God. It is because they don't know God. Then why they can't uh, meet God? What is the reason why people cannot meet God? If we meet God, it's enough, but why they cannot meet God? Then how can we meet God? Why Jesus is the only way?
Then if Jesus is the only way, why I don't have assurance? Me, who I believe in Jesus, how I change? Now, from now on, after I change, how I should live? Then when God's power is revealed, if you understand this and have this kind of answer with you, you will understand also that even prayer is a science. What is science? One, one plus one is two, right? The same. When I pray, really God works. You will start to see that when you pray, sickness disappears. Why when we pray, sickness disappears? Do you have this kind of answers with you? This is the gospel. This is the 10 gospel letters that I'm sharing with you in the field. If you have this answer with you, where will you go? You will be able to meet many people that their lives are stuck in other many things. You must really keep this answer with you. Then wherever you go, God will use you. Yesterday, on the way to come uh, here, I was riding a taxi and I was uh, talking with the taxi driver. Uh, as we start to talk and I, start, I say to him, uh, do you do your work of faith? Do you believe in Jesus? He said, no, no, I don't have time. He said, I don't have time, I have to work continually. So I start to think, do I believe because I have time? <laughs> do you believe in Jesus because you have time? It's not because that, right? But he say, no, I don't have time, I cannot believe, right? What he doesn't know, he doesn't know this. Why people are unhappy? Even they try to meet God, why they cannot meet God? How can we meet God, in other words? Why only Jesus is the only way to meet God? Even I know this answer, why many people doesn't have this assurance? What happens when you don't have when, when you don't have assurance? You are living your life, but if you don't have this assurance with you, you are not able to see God's plan for your life. So it's really easy for your for you to be saved, to be desired by Satan. I have a great message uh, about this assurance in my life. Through this situation, through that problems. God completely changed my life. Maybe one day I will share with you. What is the key of everything? You must personalize the gospel. Personalize means conquer. If you are able to personalize the gospel in your life, you will be able to conquer everything wherever you go. That's the key. Why terrorism, murder is happening? In what are you failing continually? Do you have one problem like that? Continually I'm making the, the same mistake? Continu continually I'm addicted or uh, of falling in the same things. It is the same situation, but the reaction of the people are completely different. What it makes the difference? It's what is in your heart, right? A murder kills people. Why? Because it's a murder, right? It's easy, right? Murder, kill people, because it's what they do. 
then what do you do? The evangelist is taught those who enjoy the gospel. I really pray you can enjoy the gospel. Then, naturally, you will start to conquer. Naturally, you will start to conquer your family. It's not about what, who you are, what you, do you have. If you are just enjoying this gospel, they will, they are able to see. They will follow you. What should they do? They will come and ask to you. Why? The peace that you have is different. If you have uh, this answer, the answer, uh, you will start to meet people who need also that answer. I really pray that you can have this kind of answer with you. Then people who need the answer will come to you. Really, try to organize this in your life. It's really, really important. Inside here, you can find all the content of the gospel. So the conclusion, it is really easy. You don't need to do other things. You don't need to uh, look for other kind of things. If you are able to just enjoy the gospel, Just enjoy the gospel. If you are able to do that, this is the answer for everything. If you are able to enjoy the gospel, everything will not become a problem for your life. If your life is completely focused only on the gospel, whatever you're doing, whoever you're meeting, doesn't matter. Why well, you already have the answer. I really pray you can put your life completely inside of this direction. Because inside of this, there's everything. From that moment, uh, God's power will reveal also to your life. It's not about other things. Why people cannot see God's, God's plan? Sometimes I'm listening about other people. I, I'm able to tell, this is not right. You told to me, but this is not what God wants for your life. I'm sure of that, it's really clear but they cannot see. Why? They're focused on their own motivation. They're focusing about other things. So they cannot see what is God's plan for their life. So they're missing really great uh, blessings. Like the taxi driver yesterday. I don't have time to believe. I don't believe in God because I have time. I don't have other option just to believe. Of course, it's God's grace given to me. But if you talk, I was talking a little bit with him, he's just looking for money continually. Why you don't have time? I have to work. I have to work around and drive continually, then I can earn some money. And he started to make many questions. Should I come from Spain? How is the salary there? How, may, how much money will, uh, earn the taxi drivers in there? Only one thing is in his mind, money, money, right? If you are able to enjoy the gospel, you say here there's all blessings. I really pray and bless all of you to enjoy this gospel continually. Just keep this in mind. Personalize this gospel in your life means conquering. People in the earth, they're just looking for other things. Show me what is the gospel. What do you have to show? Do you have this message with you? Start to think and pray about this. If you don't have it, just start to pray. God, give me the evidence. Really, this gospel is the gospel who is the solution to all your problems and the gospel who completely can change your life and the life of the people out there. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this gospel of Jesus Christ. Many people are looking for signs. Many people are looking for wisdom. But thank you because you give us Jesus Christ who inside of there, there is all things. Thank you because God called us and give us this answer that is Jesus Christ, the power of God. 
and the wisdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen.